Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Dark Souls 3 on the GeForce GTX 1050 2GB for FPS monitoring, I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description and a big thanks to the Patreons supporting the channel. So Dark Souls 3, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p, 720p and 1440p. To skip 10 of those sections of the video, check the description below. So this game is capped at 60 frames per second. My recommendation first is entering the Nvidia control panel and changing the vertical sync options to fast sync or just by turning it off so we don't use the B sync that it comes with the game. Yeah, that will make the screen tear but it won't drop the frame rate to 30 when we get to, I don't know, drops to 45 frames per second. In those cases the game likes to drop to 30 and keep it there since it's double buffered B-Sync. So first I'll show you 1080p trying to get 60 frames per second. So I'll show you a configuration there and then I'll just crank it up to the max except in textures since it can usually go over 2 gigabytes of usage with max textures on 1080p or higher. If you're using 900p or 720p, you can use textures on max just fine. I recommend turning off anti-aliasing, SSAO on medium, lowering shadows to high, lightning to medium, effects to medium, shaders to medium, then reflections and water surface quality, keep them on high and turn off depth of field. That should be enough to get a very consistent frame rate on all resolutions. You'll see on 1080p that will drop below 60 on some places, but even lowering it further than what I showed you doesn't make much of a difference in performance. So this is the lowest I would put the game at and it doesn't look that much different to the maximum settings. So I think it's a good idea to just lower the stuff I showed you. Most of the drop that you will notice will be due to the transparencies on fire and keep for example and sometimes when going from area to area you might see a stutter or a very quick freeze those seems to be the game just streaming stuff in the background when you're going to the new area so don't worry i wasn't able to avoid them then on 900p i do the same I'll just show you a 60 frames per second configuration and then I crank it up to the maximum. On 720p, using the maximum settings, it was possible to get 60 frames per second quite consistently. So I'll just show you that, the maximum settings on 720p. And finally at 1440p, I use pretty much the settings that I use at 1080p 60. And we will get 30 to 45 frames per second overall in the worst case scenario. First I'll show you the starting location of the game or close to the starting location since I had some FPS drops there. Then I'll just go into fire on keep since a lot of people told me that they had issues there before but now it's much better after many patches that the developer released we still have some issues when many transparencies show up or you don't look even far into the distance and well that will be pretty much my methodology testing that open area then fire on keep and that's it anyway guys that's pretty much it i hope you keep enjoying the video thanks for watching and if you enjoy my content and want to support me directly there is a link down in the description for patreon see you next time